What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since I'm on my Scream Sixes video here again today. So we actually got our first official new cast member announced finally with filming slated to start in the coming days. Next next Monday or this upcoming Monday, I think. So we now know that Dermot Mulroney. Dermot Moroni will now be starring in Scream 6. Now, this is a decorated actor from what I've gathered. They have a lot of memorable roles. They've also starred in American Horror Story with Emma Roberts. They've also actually already been in a project previously with Courtney Cox, because I've seen people go on about how this might be our new Dewey. But the role that was detailed from The Hollywood Reporter, because they were the first people to break this news, was that he would be portraying a cop. And that's all that they stated. They said that the plot details are being kept under lock and key for the most part but that's all they were managed to tell us that he's playing a cop so some people jump to the the idea that maybe he is a Kincaid recast or maybe he is a Dewey substitute meaning that he will be the new love interest for Courtney Cox going into Scream 6 or he could just be again like some random cop like Hawk uh Hawkins and uh Perkins in uh or Haas and Perkins I mean to say from Scream 4 so Whatever role that is, we'll have to wait and see with this cop scenario. If they recasted him for Kincaid, I don't think many people are going to be okay with that. Because like, okay, why did you recast Kincaid? I'm pretty sure you would rather have Kincaid left out at that point. But we'll see what happens like you see here on your screen so he was actually in an episode of friends with courtney cox so this might only fuel people thinking that oh yeah they're, they're gonna give them something juicy to go with when it pertains to these two reuniting in this project however i do think it is important to note because i want to shout out uk because you did bring this up he got his own announcement everyone else i'm assuming is going to get you know jumbled up into each other with with the whole cast listing being revealed with everyone's name being revealed all at once so maybe he has some importance to the narrative but then again sonia mar got her own casting announcement when screen five was still a being worked on and look how much live had an impact in the movie <laughs> so it doesn't really mean that either but it's a possibility maybe they're giving him his own cast announcement for a reason uh but we'll see what ends up happening as far as him being a dewey substitute i just would rather see gail weathers you know doing her own thing in this movie and then if there's some flirtation going on sure i can accept that but i would rather her you maybe like be be a little bit cold not rude or anything but just like hesitant there can be some attraction that's clearly there and you kind of just build it up build it up in like an angle in which you the audience want gail to be happy again you see that this man here if this is what they do is someone who wants to be good to her and you want her to open her heart again because you know that's what do we would want for her do we wouldn't want her to just you know shut down completely and save herself for a man who's not coming back because unfortunately he had to die in screen five in order to make Sidney Prescott come back per the narrative they wanted to tell us on screen so with that in mind I think that's the way to go perfectly because then you could build that up and do something in Scream 7 with Gail and this new cop character if they do indeed make them a love make them a duo a love interest for Gail if you give it to us all right now I think that would be a little bit too soon. I think most people would want to see a narrative in which Gail is still recovering from Dewey, but there's this guy who's clearly showing interest in her. She's clearly got an interest in him, but there's hesitation there because she feels somewhat like she's betraying Dewey, even though, again, they were broken up before Dewey passed away, but obviously there were still feelings there. And maybe she just feels like she's she's moving on too soon and you know she just feels some type of way that that guilt will be weighing on her throughout the movie but there will obviously be some interest there she just doesn't act on it all the way completely until scream seven where these two finally get together and she can have a happy ending where you have the fans who like the character of gail don't want to see her mope around and constantly just be upset about do we want to see her be happy she can be happy with this man that's assuming he's even that important because again he could be a throwaway character he could die he could just be here for one and done he is again someone who is a veteran in the industry he has a lot of memorable roles i know a lot of you probably know who this person is but at the end of the day they still really didn't tell us much other than that he's playing a cop uh, he could be Tara, Tara and Sam's, well, I, not, I guess not Sam's, <laughs> he could be Tara's dad in Scream 6, this could be a, a Carpenter, Mr. Carpenter, Tara's dad, because I know some people say, oh, he's going to be the killer, 
I don't know why he may look like a killer to some people. He, I guess the, the image of him, I guess many people can picture him in that role. I don't think he's necessarily going to be the killer just yet. Going off of this, I guess, how, how the actor looks and the role he's going to have. Uh, although I don't think we've ever had a cop be Ghostface in a screen movie. I don't think I might be wrong. No, I don't think we ever we've ever had a cop be a killer just yet. They they teased it like hell in Scream 3 with Kincaid. Never actually went through with it. Maybe he is the killer. But also again, maybe he's Tara Carpenter's dad. Maybe he's gonna be the man that shows up. Cause I know I've been going on about Tara Carpenter's dad being the killer in Scream 6, coming back, wanting revenge against Sam, wanting revenge against uh christina because i know some people what they're expecting going into scream six is that maybe we'll meet the relative of one of the killers from the from the fifth movie maybe he has a connection to to uh richie or maybe a connection to amber maybe that's one of their dads or something like that there's a plethora of different things he could do so i also saw somebody questioning okay well if this is tara's dad why is he a cop i mean we never found out what tara's dad did maybe he was in law enforcement shit <laughs> he could be someone who moved out to new york assuming this movie takes place in new york just moved out there they of course are going to move there too for school purposes and to be closer to gail weathers for whatever reason just in case something pops off something of course indeed does pop off they go to gail gail runs into this cop who ends up being tara's dad there could be some flirtation there and the, mo the movie could just progress from that if he is tara carpenter's dad then in my mind of course it with that theory of tara's dad being the killer from what i've seen so far i'm sure he could pull it off and i have gone back and looked at some other stuff that he was in because he did look familiar if you've seen insidious 3 he's from insidious 3 as well but let me know what you guys think about this casting down in the comment section below and yes it does seem like we may be getting another cast announcement come the end of this week not the end of this week but maybe on monday when filming starts because we're already at the end of the week we could get like the whole cast revealed the day filming starts i would imagine they're going to try to do that because eventually people are just going to find out who's in the movie without you announcing it i'm pretty sure we'll be able to dig it and find it let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and you miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video